Bahada, Ye Pada Baha, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the powerful name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. A blessed morning to you, dear starter. We are excited to come your way once again with 30 minutes of pure word and prayer. And we pray your life will never be the same. Share the link, invite a friend, wake them up. It is just 30 minutes, and they don't want to miss any bit of it. They should join us live and be with us. If you are online now, start sharing out the fire emojis and send us an, um, a message and say you are ready. I am ready. I am ready. Hallelujah. Amen. Since Monday, we have been dealing with the best love story in the world, seen in John chapter number 3, verse number 16. That goes like the Lord so loved the world, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You will live long. Amen. Your life will not be terminated. Amen. Your marriage will not be terminated. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Can I hear your loudest amen? Amen. On the first day, we dealt with the fact that where there is love, there is a giving. Hey. And we gave intercession as a gift. Hey. The second day, we also told, said that when there is love, God released a man. Help is coming and help came. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And, Amen. The, and yesterday, which was Valentine's Day, hey. I dealt with the fact that we must be able to believe in love. Can I hear an amen here? Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, today we want to deal with something very interesting. When God loved, he gave. And when he gave, he gave a man. Can I suggest to you that God's giving was, is not limited to you. You will experience the givings of God over your life and over your family. Wherever you are expecting provision and providence, may the Lord release it over your life. Amen. 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 Today, our scripture for consideration connecting to that is from Matthew chapter 5, verse number 17. Matthew chapter 5, verse number 17. New King James, I read, Do not think that I am come to destroy the law or the prophet. I did not come to destroy but to fulfill. This is Jesus speaking. Jesus had come to do an assignment. When God gave Jesus to us, he didn't give Jesus to us to come and do what we want. He didn't give Jesus to come to us to come and do what we have dreamed about, what we are expecting. Can I suggest to you that when God is giving you a man, he's not giving you a man to come and do what you want, but he's giving a man to come and do what he, God, has planned for you. Oh, I pray don't miss the revelation for this morning. God loves you, so he's sending you a helper. And when that helper comes, he's not coming to do what you want. He's not coming to do what is in your diary. But that helper is coming to fulfill an assignment. So he said, I have not come to destroy the law, but to fulfill the law. These people, the Jews at this time, they have been under oppression for many years. And they were expecting their savior, redeemer to come and come and destroy the Roman Empire, which was oppressing them. But when Jesus came and the signs and wonders proved that he was the Christ, they were not expecting him to rise up and take action. He wa they wanted him to rise up and give the Romans a showdown. Hey. They wanted Jesus to arise and give the Romans a, a biblical and a religious showdown. But when they were pushing Jesus, when they were pushing their helper, who was sent to them by God, the helper declared and said, I did not come to destroy the law. I did not come to destabilize your life. I didn't come to destabilize your destiny. But I came to fulfill a certain assignment of God. According to what the Lord has spoken over many years, that is what the helper is coming to do. I pray, may nobody come in the form of a helper only to destroy your life. May nobody come into your life wearing the garment looking like a helper only to mess you up. I pray that may the Lord deliver you from wicked men Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Help us can be frustrated in the assignment in our lives. Amen. And today we are dealing with things that can frustrate the helper in our lives. Jesus. When God sends you a man, Amen. may they do their work. Amen. We pray that helpers will not sleep. Amen. We pray that helpers will be willing. Amen. We also pray that helpers will not be blind. Amen. But when the helpers are willing and they are doing their work, 
may they not be frustrated. Amen. When a sponsor is sent to come and sponsor your business, Jesus. may we not frustrate them. Amen. When somebody is sent to come and support us Jesus. in whatever we do, whatever Amen. you are doing, may we not frustrate them. Come Amen. and say, in the name of Jesus. Grant me the grace. In the name of Jesus. If you are ready to pray, lift your voice and me to bless the name of the living God. Give him praise. Give him glory. Father, this morning we say, let your name alone be exalted. We say, let your name alone be praised. We say, let your name alone be adored. We exalt your name, O God. We declare your majesty. We thank you, O God, that you alone are God. And you, be, you can see what we need and send us helper in the in a time of need. The word said that you are our present help in a time of need. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for thinking about me. Thank you for thinking about my family. Are you praying? Thank the Lord. Bless his name. Say, Lord, I thank you, O God, for thinking about me and sending me helpers in the name of Jesus. For God so loved you, he sent you a helper. He sent you Christ Jesus. We pray that may we not frustrate us. The Christ in our life, may we not absolve, may we not frustrate the assignment of helpers in our lives. May we not frustrate the assignment of people who have been sent to support us, to bear us up, to counsel us, to energize us. May we not frustrate them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we honor you. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give the Lord a mighty hand. Send us fire emojis. Kayada baso kataba. Hallelujah. Amen. Helpers are sent from God, uh, but they can be frustrated, uh, and their performance can be limited. Uh, uh, Bible says that Jesus went to one of his villages, uh, and when he went, he could not heal anybody there because of their unbelief. Uh, the work of the helper was suppressed because of their unbelief. Uh, but this morning, we are praying that may help us uh, deliver their, on their full assignment in our life. Uh, Say, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. I declare... I the helpers, the helpers, destiny helpers, destiny helpers assigned, assigned into, my life, into my life, into my destiny, into my destiny will, perform will perform and will deliver, and will deliver fully, fully on, their on their assignment in my life, in my life and over my house. Over my house. Say in the, in the name of Jesus, I declare, I declare whosoever, whosoever has, been has been assigned to be my helper, be my helper. Father, Lord, Father Lord, may they deliver, may they deliver fully, fully on their assignment. On their assignment. For my life, say as I clap my hands and I pray, anything frustrating my divine helpers, anything oppressing, repelling my divine helpers, as I clap my hands, I cut off, I cut off, I cut off. Lift your voice and me to pray right now. My yeka pada bada dada reba katori andebe sata. In the name of Jesus. Father, this morning we're praying. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Anything that frustrates, oh God. Help us in my life. Anything that frustrates us. Help us around me. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, let that thing be cut off. Uh, my help, oh God, will not be frustrated. Uh, they will deliver on their assignment for my life. Uh, they will deliver on their assignment for my ministry. They will deliver on their assignment for your marriage they will deliver on your assignment for your education in the mighty name of Jesus are you praying 2024 and the helper God will send you to show you that he loves you may they not be frustrated may they not be frustrated may they not be harassed but we pray oh God anything that constitutes frustration anything that constitutes harassment against my helpers and my helpers as I pray Father Lord let it be cut off let it be cut off let it be cut off in the name of Jesus my Father, 
in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, anything frustrating the work of divine helpers in my life, my father, my maker, anything frustrating divine helpers in my life, father, as I pray, I cut it off, I cut it off, are you praying? Rapaya Dabada Ima Katori Andeba Zedebe Rapelelebe When your helpers come to work May they not be frustrated When your helpers come to work In your life to bless you And to bring you to the place Where you are supposed to be May they not be frustrated In the name of Jesus By the and efficacy Of the blood My father, my maker We pray, oh Lord Our helpers Our destiny helpers Our divine helpers Those who are supposed to mention our names In the corridors of power May they not be frustrated We pray, oh God Every assignment Every agenda of the enemy To frustrate To frustrate Our divine helpers In their assignment in our lives As I pray, oh Lord Let them be cut off Let them be cut off let them be cut off. Let that frustration be cut off right now. Are you praying, Labosha? Lekata, your life can never be like that. God loves you so much. He continually sends helpers into your life. But there is something. There may be a spell. There may be a curse. There may be whatever. But today, let God arise in the name of Jesus. When helpers are coming my way, may no arrow of frustration send them away in the name of Jesus. Makaya Badebe Iada Zanda Badabra Reka Papa Paya Reka Padada Alema Sotanaba Ikapa in the name of Jesus. Helpers don't come to prepare in your life to bless you. They, they come already prepared. So I pray for you that any helper who has located his way into your life to help you according to the word of God, may they not be frustrated. May they not be frustrated. May helpers of your life not be frustrated in their assignment. Shout and say fire. Fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When Jesus was speaking in Matthew chapter 5 verse 17, he was not speaking to the enemy. Yeah. He was not speaking to the spirit of frustration. Yeah. But he was speaking to the people whom he came to help. Yes. These are the Jews. Yes, and he said to them, do not think that I have come to destroy the law. Yeah. In other words, Jesus was saying, that is your expectation and your desire. Yeah. That I have come to overthrow the law. Yeah. Jesus said, I am not for coup d'etat. Yeah. I am here to help you. But the way I'm coming to help you is not your way. My ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. So if you think I've come to destroy the law, that is not why I am here. But I've come to fulfill a certain assignment. Prayer topic number two. We are saying, oh Lord, may my desires and my expectations not frustrate my helpers. Are you here or you are not coming? Uh, we are working on ourselves. Say in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, this morning I pray throughout the year 2024 and beyond. May my desires and my expectations that are limited by my current conditions not frustrate the assignment of divine helpers in my life as I pray oh Lord I pray today this morning may my desires my expectations not frustrate my helpers my helpers will not be frustrated by my expectations lift your voice and pray Father, in the name of Jesus, 
Lord the Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, may our desires, uh, may our expectations uh, that is limited to the issues of this world and what we are going through, uh, not frustrate our helpers. Uh, oh Lord, when helpers are coming our way, oh Lord, when helpers are coming our way, may they not be frustrated, may nothing stop them, uh, may the oppressor not oppress them, uh, but we also pray that may our desires, may our expectations of life may our expectations of our current season not become a frustration to our helper in the name of jesus are you praying sometimes uh, your expectations are for a husband but god is sending you a business partner before we realize we are using our desire for a husband to frustrate our business partner god may send you a business partner god may send you a husband vice versa is also true when you are saying lord may my desires may my expectations uh, not frustrate the assignment of divine helpers and destiny helpers in the name of Jesus. In the name of say my father, my maker. Oh Lord, my desires as a man, my desires as a woman, my desires as a leader, as a mother, as a father, may it not become, may it not become a source of frustration to my divine and destiny helpers. Oh Lord, when you send helpers and men into my life, I pray, may they not be frustrated by my personal desires in the name of Jesus. Give the other mighty hand. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. There are days you are looking for a miracle. Yet when God comes, a helper will not come and say, take the miracle. They will give you a certain instruction. And that instruction may be eventually leading not to a miracle, but for a deliverance. Because you may get the miracle of bread to eat today, but it's not the same as a deliverance from poverty. So when God is sending a helper, the helper has an assignment not to provide for your desire, but to fulfill the assignment of God for your life. Come on now. Come on now. Put the hand here. Put the hand here. I feel like praying this prayer. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. 2024. 2024. May my desires, May my desires and, expectations and expectations not become. Not become a limitation and a, and a source of frustration for my helpers. Clap your hands and shout fire. fire. Uh, prayer topic number three. You need to hear this one. You need to hear this one. 2024, helpers will not come into your life and you'll be giving them different assignments to do. Hey! Hey! hey. God will not send a businessman to come and support you with a million dollars. And all you are thinking about is a husband. Hey. God will not send a businesswoman into your life to support you with a hundred million dollar. Hey. And all you are thinking about Jesus. is a wife. Amen. May the Lord deliver us. Amen. Now, it's, oh, the third prayer. L- oh, Lord, oh Lord, let thy will, let thy will be, done. be done. I submit, I submit my, will my will to yours. To yours. Let my life. Let let my destiny, Let my destiny be, be according, according to your will, to your will. According, according to your plan, to your plans, according, according to, your to your projections for my life. For my life. Say, my father my, maker, my father, my maker, I submit, I submit my, will my will to your will. To your will. Come on, give the Lord a hand here. <laughs> send me a WhatsApp, uh, send me a WhatsApp right now or a text on the comment section wherever you are watching from just say i submit i submit to your will i submit to your will will. listen 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 child of god jesus was caught up 
at a place where he didn't want to die a certain death. Mm. Yet he prayed and said, nevertheless, not my will, mm. but your will. In other words, when we are praying this prayer, you may be in a very uncomfortable situation. Mm. You may know exactly what you want and exactly what you don't want. You may not want a certain problem to come your way. Come but when you pray, let your will be done, yeah. you are submitting yourself to the flow of God's wisdom. So that the end of his, which, the end, which is his glory, will be made manifest upon your life. Amen. Can I hear an amen? amen? A woman called Mary was chosen to bear the, 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 the savior of the world. And when he was called, she was called, he said, you shall bear a son without the need of a man. He said, how can these things be? It is impossible. He said, at last, in the end, he said, let it be unto me according to your word. When you now understand that, when you try to think about the flow of God's help, you will not understand, but you know that the end is always glorious. Now today, people's names may not be mentioned, but Mary's name is mentioned. Yeah. Mary's father's name is not mentioned. Mary's mother's name is not mentioned, but Mary is mentioned. May th thy will be done over my life according to us. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I can't feel you. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Uh, as I lift up my voice and I pray. As I lift up my voice and I pray. My Father, my Maker. My Father, my Maker. That, oh Lord. That, oh Lord. I submit. I submit. My will. My will. To your will. To your will. And I declare. And I declare. That will be done. That will be done. Over my life. Over my life. That will be done. That will be done. Over my children. Over my children. Not my will. Not my will. By your will. By your will. Be done. Be done. Over my, sons, over my sons, over my daughters, over my daughters. in the name of Jesus, name of lift Jesus. your voice and me to pray right now. By your God, that will be done, O oh God. That will be done, O oh God. That will be done in our marriages. That will be done in our relationships. That will be done in our white places. That will be done. For we know that the end of God is a glorious end in the name of Jesus. For whatever we are doing, that will be done in the name of Jesus. We subject our will to your will. We subject our desires to your will. For the Bible says, you know the plans you think towards us. They are plans of good and of that will bring us to an expected end. We pray in the name of Jesus that your will be done. For that wherever we are in a hard place, your will be done. Wherever we are stuck, your will be done. Wherever, oh God, our senses are, are fighting the plans and your purposes. We pray, oh God, let our will be subject to your will. Let your plans be fulfilled. Even as Jesus came to fulfill the word of God, let it be done. Let it be done in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, that will be done. We leave the bottle for you. We leave the marriage to you. We leave the businesses to you. As we do our best, we pray that your will be done. As we labor through the day, we pray that your will be done. In the name of Jesus, for you are the God who knows the beginning from the end. Hey, God, we submit our will even unto your will. In the name of Jesus. By the power, by the efficacy of the blood, my katadadada, zedeba, beliandaba, ekatoriandaba, azoka tadaba. Thy will, thy will, thy will, thy will. Thy will, thy will be done. Thy will be done. In the name of Jesus, may the will of God that has a glorious end be made manifest over our lives. May we not super superimpose our will over God's will. Amen. But we pray that may the Lord cause his will to be established over our lives. Amen. We subject our will to his will. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Can I hear a loud amen? amen. Put us together for the Lord. <laughs> Some messages coming in. We want to pray with them. Say, please, I'm Abigail. Pray for me. Good morning. Watching you live from Jirapa. Pray for me today. Today's lesson was right about me. 
right for me. Powerful. So we pray for Abigail. Whatever be your need, may the Lord minister to you and bless you where you are in the name of Jesus. The second message was actually from Julius. Julius says, I'm watching live from Jirapa. We pray that may the Lord minister to you right there through your television set and through your your phone. May the Lord bless you. And we pray that whatever you are going through, wherever you have given up on love and on Christ, may the Lord minister to you again in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This one is a compliment. Say, good morning, Rev. We thank you. I am on fire. I'm back. This sounds like music. I am on fire. I am on fire. May you be on fire. May your day be on fire. May your business be on fire. No enemy can interpret. No enemy can break through. No enemy can break your walls. Shout and say fire three times. Fire. 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 Hallelujah. This one says, good morning, man of God. Help me pray for marital breakthrough this year. I don't even have a man in my life and I am 37 years. Yeah. We'll be 38 this February. Mm. We lift up this daughter of Zion before yeah. the Lord. Amen. We pray may divine favor locate you. Amen. We pray that may your helper come your way. Amen. May the helper in the form of a husband be released. Amen. May the helper in the form of a companion be released. Amen. In the name of Jesus. We we'll use this one as a point of contact to Jesus. all other people who find themselves in the uncomfortable situation of unwanted singleness. Hey. Be it man, be hey. it woman. Hey. May the Lord send you the right partner. Amen. May your eyes be open Amen. to see the right man, Amen. to see the right woman. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we pray no matter how old you are, hey. may the Lord use your situation hey. to bring a turnaround in your life. Amen. 37 to 40 years, Jesus. 40 to 45, Amen. as you are listening to me, Jesus. may the Lord push a good man Amen. May Lord push a good woman amen. into your life. Amen. Can I hear an amen here? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This was another complex. Say kudos to you, Rev. Amen. We are really enjoying the program. Amen. Wow. Say, so may the good Lord strengthen you. Are you called from Mr. G- Mr. Gift Agbeshi from Sunyani. Oh, Agbeshi. Mr. and Mrs. Agbeshi have been following us from Sunyani. God bless you. We really, really appreciate you. God bless you. We pray that the Lord will continue to minister to you throughout the sessions in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Someone says, good morning, Pastor K. Um, please, I need prayers for God's help and strength for me through my days of pregnancy as I am getting closer to my time. We pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus. May the Lord strengthen your bones. I didn't hear amen here. May the Lord strengthen your bones. We use this one as a point of contact to all pregnant women, to all women expecting. We pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus. May every news of complications, may every news of health um, 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 uh, hazard or whatever that goes against pregnancies Mm -hmm. by the blood of Jesus we declare let it be erased. Amen. Let it be turned. Amen. Let it be turned Amen. to your favor Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that the miracle you carry will not die in you. Amen. The miracle you carry will not fall in the hands of evil men Amen. and evil women. Amen. But we pray that may the Lord send angels mm. in the form of midwives Amen. who will receive this baby mm. in his glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can I hear your loudest? Amen. Amen. Ah. Come on, give the Lord a hand. Give the Lord a hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Maybe this one will be the last one. He said, man of God, please pray for me. I am a graduate praying for a job, but I am currently working in a barbering shop. Come mm. da, 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 mm. right now. Arrow, arrow. But man of God, the shop is not moving on and I am struggling financially mm. and don't know what to do. I mean, Kumasi, we pray for this young man. Jesus. And we pray for all graduates Jesus. who are looking for employment. Jesus. We pray that may the Lord visit you. Amen. May the Lord honor you. Amen. We pray that may your certificate not become useless. Amen. We pray that your certificate will not be abandoned. Amen. May the Lord cause your certificate to be a platform upon which he will open a way for you. Amen. Open a way for your business. Amen. Open a way for your house. Amen. We pray that may you not miss your position as the leader of your home. Yeah. But may the Lord bless the words of your hands. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Hey. 
Amen. Amen and amen. amen. God bless you and thank you for joining in with us. We are very excited and always blessed to have you. My name is the Reverend Kake. Call me the Revivalist. Do have a stand up day. <laughs>